the bold new policy from Washington Democrats that will kick the coronavirus to the curb and save American families from this crisis. Here it is. Here it is. New annual studies on diversity and inclusion within the cannabis industry. Not one study, but two of them. Let me say that again. The Democrats' supposed coronavirus bill includes taxpayer-funded studies to measure diversity and inclusion among the people who profit off of marijuana. The word cannabis appears in the bill 68 times, more times than the word job, and four times as many as the word hire. Maybe that's just as well, because when their proposal does try to treat the economic crisis, it proposes stifling anti-work policies that would only make it harder for Americans to get their jobs back. For example, they literally propose to raise taxes on small businesses, drain more cash from Main Street during a Main Street meltdown. So maybe it's best if House Democrats focus on cannabis studies and leave economics to the rest of us. This is a totally unserious effort. Even the mainstream media says, quote, neither this bill nor anything resembling it will ever become law. It's a democratic wish list. A democratic wish list. So forget about making law. This thing even fails as a messaging bill. That's what's so remarkable. House Democrats had a blank slate to write anything they wanted to define the modern Democratic Party, any vision for the society they wanted. And here's what they chose. Tax hikes on small businesses, giveaways to blue state millionaires, government checks for illegal immigrants, and sending diversity detectives to inspect the pot industry. The House gave themselves no assignments for two months except developing this proposal.